So in this part of the eye modeling and shading tutorial, we are going to cover the rest of the eye, which is the sclera. We already made the iris and the, and the cornea. So for the sclera material, we are going to trick first the way that Blender interpolates the diffuse values of it. So you can see when I render now from the side, you can see an, an ugly line, the transition which we can fix by using cubic from the shaders panel. It's very nice and I enable it uh, all the time on, in, all, in all my materials mostly. So another thing we're going to use is uh, ramps. They're awesome. But they are even more awesome when you use it instead of the input type as shader, when you use it as a result. Because you are telling Blender which colors to use on the dark parts and on the bright parts. So for example, you can make your your material never get black, even if there is no light. You can tell Blender to instead of fade to black, to fade to some more brownish color, like I am doing now, which is nice. It gives a little bit more, more nice uh, shading and mood to our material. It's not always fading to black. That's nice. You can do, you can do the same with the with the right parts. If you leave white on the right part of this uh, color band, Blender will do like with every object. When you put a lot of light on it, it will always uh, the right part will be always be uh, white. But with this kind of ramps, you can uh, control the color of the bright parts. Very nice. So can you can put a really strong sun lamp directly going into this uh, material, and it will never get totally white or burned. It's very nice. So another thing we're going to add is yeah the typical <laughs> fall off once again. Just the blend texture type uh, sphere, map to the normal, and the coordinates, nothing, nothing, uh, set Z, or 00Z. Zero, zero, Z. I'm also affecting a little bit of the translucency as well, some, for some more extra brightness on the, on the borders. Now the specular, I prefer tune shader actually for the specular. Nice. Yep. So something I'm missing here, but I see it a little bit flat actually the color. Self. So let's uh, fake. Uh, let's make some fake shadow ar uh, around this iris and the cornea. Uh, I will do this with uh, another blend texture, type sphere. Play a little bit with the settings, with the colors, and I will map this texture to my uh, sclera. I will use uh, UV again in case we deform our mesh. We don't want to lose the other UV, so I made a new layer, UV layer. I will select everything and just scale all the vertices to zero. So I put them in a corner so that they don't get uh, they don't get this uh, this texture. So now I just select whatever I want to actually have the texture. And I only project this from view. That's it. So the other the other vertices will be just uh, black, no texture. There. Since the this procedural texture is by default is like a square, um, 
it maps properly on the we can imagine where it's going to be this shape but if we don't have we don't we are not really good in imagining we can just use the preview like I'm doing now there so now you can see how our texture is affecting only these surrounding parts but I think we could make this a little bit more tight and there we could adjust yeah it's a little bit too fading away so yep just play with the with the ramp So this way we are faking some uh, some shading there, like an ambient occlusion that is not there actually. But it's a nice effect, I like it. I also use this effect for the inner part of the iris actually. but I will do another texture for that in case I use it I'm not using it now I will just I could just show oh now I'm using the ref value as well the ref for the diffuse the texture to control not only the color but the diffuse value of this texture as well this uh, material actually Yeah, enough for now. So I was saying about the iris. Now that's ugly. There. But as you can see, it never gets black. No matter how the texture is, or the color of the texture, or blend texture, it never gets black, totally black, because we have this color ramp there so yeah I was saying uh, about the the iris I used to make something like this like a little ring there to control the brightness of the iris so we only get bright parts on the, some specific parts of the iris and not on the borders or or in the on the pupil as well we could fade it to another color Ahora vamos a pasar ya al último paso que es la reflexión. So that's it for now. Let's move to.